All right, so sorry for the wait, but it is time for another Zobi unboxing video. So this month's Zobi box, Zobi box is alien theme, sci-fi theme, but I'm going to dig into it. The themes for this box are Starship Troopers, Independence Day. Aliens, and if you can, were able to guess if you were able to hear Mars Attacks. So we'll open the box here. I'm excited for these. I'm not huge on Starship Troopers, I will admit that. Didn't really get into it too much, but I met some of the cast from that thanks to Crypticon. <clears throat> And there were also another movies that I loved as well. So, first off, being sci-fi related, alien-like, green tissue paper, possibly to resemble green slime. So, first off, this is kind of cool. Like I said, I'm not really into Starship Troopers. But the pin is from Starship Troopers, and it says the only good bug is a dead bug. That is pretty, pretty cool regardless. So, start off with that. Next, let's see what this is. This is, okay, this is cool. It's smaller than I thought it would be, but it's still pretty awesome. It is a data plate from Alien. Looks pretty awesome. Right, and the next item. Oh gosh. Oh, this is sweet. It's numbered out of 400, it's 179. It's the art print done by Sideshow Monkey, David Hartman. The art print is from Mars Attacks. That is one of the coolest art prints I've ever seen. My favorite still Beetlejuice and my second favorite still Pumpkinhead. But this is probably ranks number three for me. That's pretty freaking sweet. And then the thank you card from Zobi. Looks pretty awesome too. And the autograph. Oh, I got a cool one. Okay, so the autographs from Independence Day. And it's from Vivica A. Fox. Sorry for any glare. But there's her and Will Smith from Independence Day. Also JSA certified, which is most of these. Every Zobi Box photo autograph is JSA certified. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm a fan of Independence Day. I gotta say... The franchise that I was most of a fan of in the box is Alien and then Mars Attacks. But um, I'm a fan of Independence Day, so this is really cool. Um, I was kind of hoping originally if the autograph was from Independence Day that it would be from Randy Quaid. But uh, this is really awesome as well. So I'm looking forward to adding this to my autograph collection. 
So, again, um, no Zobi Easter egg in this box like I got last time, but this is definitely a great box. Um, I hope they do more sci-fi ones in the future. There's definitely a lot of sci-fi items that they can put into them. Um, I know they already did John Connor from Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the Edward Furlong photo, and another one of the boxes. And um, definitely glad to have that one. Um, shout out for another one in case you magically are able to get Robert Patrick. That would be pretty cool. Um, add that to one of the sci-fi ones. But here's the um, spoiler sheet. The different Vivica A. Fox autographs you can get. The Dobie Zobie Easter Egg signed by the actress who does the voice of Dobie. The name plates or the data plates. The other pin that you could get as well. God, that art print is awesome. So I'm very happy with this. It's definitely great for being a sci-fi box. There's a lot of sci-fi movies that I like, even though I'm mainly generated with horror movies and some action and whatnot. There's quite a few sci-fi. Robocop would be another good one. Um, so I'm looking forward to, if they have another sci-fi Zobi box, to uh, see what they have in there, because they always bring their A-game with these boxes. Um, more to come. I'm waiting still on a couple of things that people had gotten signed for me at conventions. Um, one's this weekend, so I know I won't be getting that until about like next week sometime, possibly. Um, waiting on an item from Zobi still, so I'm looking forward to that. It's an item that I've already shown before, but uh, added some more to it. So look for those and stay tuned. Thank you for watching.